Oh, g'day, didn't see you there. Uh, well, welcome along to this very short video on how to use and set up for guidelines and rulers and so forth in Photoshop. So in Photoshop itself, the very first thing I get you to do is to go up to your Photoshop at the top in your menu bar um, along the top and choose preferences and go down to um, units and rulers. And I want you to make sure that your rulers is the unit is millimeters. That might be different. Okay, that needs to be set as millimeters. Once you've done that, click OK. Um, the next thing is we can get what's called rulers around the edge of this to show exactly how big this is. Um, so what we can do is go to View and click on the rulers um, option here. And you can see it's brought that up around the edge. So now um, if I zoom in, so I grab the zoom tool, and you can see the rulers along the top there showing it that's in millimeters, so 0, 10, 20, and so forth. Next thing we can do is to help us out when we're trying to get things organized in a Photoshop document is we can actually use what's called guidelines. Okay, so there's a couple of ways we can do this. We can do this freehand by just simply clicking in the ruler and dragging down. So say I want to want it 20, and you can see it comes up with the measurement on the y-axis there and this is a bit tricky because you've got to be really precise so you can see I couldn't quite get that to 20 I can click on the edge and bring that into 20 up there alright we can do that all over our page you can bring in as many as we want um, if we don't want one we can simply click it and drag it out okay click it and drag it out or we can go up to view and clear guides we can also lock the guides so once we've got it we can lock them so they can't be moved so we can clear guides. Another way you can do it is we can actually come into view and go new guide. And this allows us to specify exactly. So you know how I couldn't quite get it to 20? I could specify 20 on the horizontal. So it's come across, uh, that's the horizontal that way. So it's come down 20. And then I could go up and do one the other way. Uh, new guide and do vertical, but this time do it at 20 as well. And now I've got that at very, very accurately. So you can actually go in and put them in all yourself and you can put in as many as you want and you can combine them. The other tool which I'll show you in the next video is about the new guide layout. So you can have a look at that and, uh, and hopefully it will help. The other thing is I need you to make sure you've got the snap um, options and snap to because when we bring images in we want to make sure it snaps to the rulers that we've got in there, the layers and the guides and so forth. So make sure that is selected because if we want to put an image in here, we don't copy and paste it in. We go File, Place Embedded, and then we choose the image that we want, place it, and now we can actually pull that in and it will snap to those um, guides that we've put in there. All right, so you can get it all lined up perfectly. So that way we can get the image right in the corner. When we're happy, we can click the tick and away we go. So that's how we can use our rulers and our guides to help us construct a very well structured um, image, something like a montage. Alright, hope that's helped and uh, good luck.